Hi, Dave Lalonic, Sticky RX here. So this morning while having coffee, I was talking to my very good friend, John Kay, about the F355 gated manual shift ball. We were discussing the material composition and the finish on it, and neither one of us knew the accurate details. I suspect it's aluminum, but we're gonna take an in-depth look. Stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I have 3D modeled the shifter ball in SolidWorks here, and what I've done is for the material properties, I've assigned this to 6061 aluminum. Now, certainly I could have calculated this by hand, but being that I can model this in minutes, it's easier to do. So if I go to tools and I select mass properties, okay, I get 138 grams, uh, 138.01 grams, okay? So now if I change this, let's go back up to the properties. And let me change this from 6061 aluminum to 7075, okay, which is an aircraft grade of aluminum. Then I go back up to the mass properties, and we'll see that it raises the, the, the weight to 143.63 grams, almost 144. So let's take a look at the actual weight. Okay, so here we are at the scale zeroed out. Place the shifter ball on top. And we have 148.5 grams. Okay, so what I've got here is a few things. I've got uh, an ohm meter. I've got a bare piece of uh, aluminum, a anodized piece of aluminum, and we have the shift knob. So of course, well, first of all, with the meter, if I touch both leads together, you see that I will get, um, goes down to zero ohms. Now 0 0.2, I mean, I'm getting some minor resistance in the uh, in the cabling here, right? Okay, 0.1, there you go. So here, the raw aluminum drop down to zero. You'll see the anodized aluminum, if I get my hand out of the way. Okay, you'll see that's overload, that's infinity. So uh, op uh, basically open circuit because anodized aluminum is not conductive. So if I go to the shift ball, same thing, okay, you'll see it overload. But if I turn the shift ball upside down and I probe in the threaded hole, and the reason I'm doing this is normally things are racked in the threaded hole and the anodized coating won't be in there. So you'll see I get zero ohms there. Okay, so in summary, it appears that the shift ball is made from 7075 grade aluminum with a clear anodize on it. So that's what we've conducted from this experiment. Hopefully you find it valuable and it can help you for restoring your shift knob. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.